What's up, everybody? It's your boy JD back again with another video. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to hop back in that reborn rich. So, we're about to go ahead and get into it, see what's in store for us today. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Want to take support any further? Patreon link is in the description below. Also, join our Taco Game membership and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video or go live on the channel. So, let's go ahead and get into it, man. What is it that you want then? Fair competition for the cost of acquisition alone after taking care of all the of all that can be with public funds. Wouldn't that benefit both of us? That would minimize the loss sustained by the losing oh the losing side. Are you suggesting you and I agree on specific conditions for debt relief and compete with the cost to acquire the corporation alone? Correct. I'm only suggesting this because you made an offer to exploit the loophole. If we establish rules in our battle, it becomes a sports event. Why not make it appear dignified while we're at it? You're an interesting person. I guess I must prepare for a grand battle then. Dignified? Dayon didn't come this far with dignity. In other words, he about to get downright dirty. I'll make you realize that I built this empire by fighting dirty and undignified battles. Okay. Jeez. Are you sure this is a good strategy? You look pretty upset by the offer. Probably. He's a rich man with plenty of wealth to protect. No rich person would ever decline an offer. That would end up saving him money. Mr. Ju, you must accept this offer. This offer will relieve Ajin Motors of 3.28 trillion won in debt and 1.58 and 1.5 trillion won more across all of its affiliates. Furthermore, it will convert the remaining 2.52 trillion won into equity. It's basically an offer to relieve the total 7.3 trillion won. We spend a lot of our pocket to get these terms and conditions established. However, if Miracle Investments decide to rework this area, we'll be forced to start from scratch again. If we accept our offer, all we need to worry about is the acquisition cost. Is that guy rich? Does he have enough money to bid a few billion dollars? It's difficult for us to estimate their wealth as they'll find it difficult to estimate ours. After all, all of their funds are from America. But, but what? I'm inclined to believe that Miracle holds enough cash in their vault, as per the sources. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. They apparently are one of the biggest investors in Hollywood, having invested in nearly all successful films that were recently released. What's worse is, Miracle Investments never made a single bad investment in any of the movies. That's right, they're absolutely keen when it comes to evaluating investment risk. I don't think they would have jumped in this one if they didn't really have enough money. You taught us that reluctantly taking the hands of the opposition was one of the ways to avoid needless deficit. I did indeed. He like, I really don't want to do this shit, bro. That's really what he's trying to tell y'all. He really don't want to do this shit. Yon Gil Ju stopped by. Yeah, he offered to compensate Seon if he withdrew from the competition. I can't believe that coup dragged his old ass all the way there. He must have been desperate. To be fair, he probably wanted to get rid of any obstacles along the way and fast. So, what did you and Seon tell him? We offered him a fair competition with bidding price alone while taking advantage of all the governmental benefits. There's no need to decline such a good subsidations for either of us. And his response? He said he's ready for an all-out war. <laughs> he like, yep. He must have gotten really agitated. <laughs> he laughing his ass off. Why don't you give us a hint, Grandpa? What course of action do you think he'll take now? You already have an idea. You thought about how I would have reacted, right? Yeah. And what did you conclude? You would have accepted it because the governmental debt relief amount is too large to ignore. You wouldn't want to introduce more uncertainties at this stage. Precisely. Uncertainty is the biggest threat to the enemy, to any entrepreneur after all. Good. This confirms that Mr. Jew and my grandpa think alike. But remember, 
You've used all of your cards while Mr. Ju still has a few trump cards down his sleeve. He's going to retaliate sooner or later. I'm assuming through the media, correct? Not just the media, he'll try to persuade the creditors and evaluators, as well as put pressure on the politicians he has had shady dealings with thus far. Sounds like I can't expect the same amount of help from you, because I really can't this time. What do you mean? I stopped Hyun Chong Song from getting arrested. I was getting the feeling that they suspected me of coveting Arjun Motors myself because I opposed his arrest. But they soon calmed down after realizing it would have been easier for me to acquire Arjun had Mr. Song been arrested. They probably think I just felt a bit of pity for the man. That can't be all there is to it. It's never good to pile too much pressure on federal employees. They've been giving me hefty benefits. What would happen if I pulled one leg while Mr. Dude was already pulling the other? That would rip them apart. He says that but doesn't appear disappointed at all. He's hiding something. But I can't think of what it could possibly be. Understood. The murder of you? What a, well, the murder of what you probably... I don't know shit. It's different. We don't... We didn't... We don't... I don't know. Say on and I will do our best from then. What's up? Were you expecting me to keep asking for more help? I get that you're really close with the Sayon guy. Yeah. What's your evaluation of him? Is he trustworthy? I mean, yeah, he, he, he do a decent job. He do a decent job for us. Thus far, even father said he's a loyal friend. And that even though he handles money, he won't cheat someone for it. I see. Dojun, keep in mind that you need to have two types of people by your side. One is someone you can trust to get things done for you, like Seon. And the other, someone who's willing to do all the dirty work while you keep your hands clean. The other is someone that will sacrifice oneself for you. Sacrifice. I wonder in what scenario would I need someone like that? But they will be naturally drawn to you once you start shining. You don't need to actively search for people like that. Time to greet our guest. Get changed and have some formal wear prepared upstairs. Trust me. Trust me. Every millionaire, billionaire, whatever you want to call it, has people who does dirt for them and takes the fall for them when they do dirty shit. I don't care who you are. Everybody got one. You just never know about it because they stay in the shadows. They want those people that you call when shit gets dangerous and then they go and magically take care of it. Yeah, those people. That's the most over the top, probably disgusting cake I've ever seen in my life. I'm just saying. Young June seems particularly close with the bride for some reason. Then they meet. Oh, then they only meet like two or three times after the families came together for the arrangement. I'll never understand people like them. Maybe that's the power of money. I heard you were the best looking guy in Yeonjun's family. And you're as handsome as everyone says. Yeonjun, congratulations on your engagement. Thanks, Dojun. Damn, Dojun tall, bro. God damn. <laughs> God damn. Dojun is tall. I mean, we, we knew he wasn't short, but God damn, bro. Look, bro, look how tall this dude is. God, what is this man like 6'8? Jesus! <laughs> Dojo like 6'8 or some shit? God damn. Thanks, Dojo. You never met her before, right? Congratulations. I'm so happy for you too. I'm Dojo Jin, by the way. Thank you. It's great to meet you. Young Jun. One moment, please. So young. It, well, actually, now he looks better. Because from this panel, this this dude, like, like he at least 6'5", bro. I'm just saying, from this panel alone, it looks like the dude at least 6'5", but that could just be the distance. The people in the distance obviously going to look shorter than the people closer up. Unless you're just really fucking tall. But this this panel looks a little better. And this one. Awkward. There's really nothing to talk about. You like Prince Charming pretty much all the girls dream about. Me? Yeah. You're tall, good looking, 
and you have the brains to go with one of the best schools. Plus, you're the youngest son of the richest family in Korea. Wouldn't being the youngest son be a negative factor? Of course not. You don't have to get involved in the political stuff or worry about fighting for inheritance. And you can just use the money you get to enjoy your life in luxury. You make a fair point. But I guess it's money I must worry about then. I'm not sure if there would be any money left for me to inherit after all my older cousins. What's there to worry about? You're Mr. Jen's favorite grandchild after all. Boy, they made her look pretty as hell in this panel, didn't they? So, that's how much you dug up about me. She, she dug up a good bit. You're the favorite grandchild? Oh yeah, they know everything. They know everything. They, not, they might not know everything, but they at least know you're the favorite. They at least know you are the favorite, which is bad in a lot of different aspects but that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoy you did make sure to drop a like sub to the channel let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below also you guys want to keep up with me twist twitter discord links all of that is in the description as well and i will catch you guys next time peace